Queen Elizabeth II held an emergency meeting with Prince William before stripping Prince Andrew of his military affiliations and royal patronages, a report has claimed. The Queen, 95, met with Prince William, 39, to discuss what action should be taken on Prince Andrew, 61, following a ruling in New York, the Mirror has revealed. Her Majesty reportedly concluded the Duke of York would lose his military affiliations and royal patronages following the summit, which supposedly took place at Windsor Castle on Wednesday. This decision was made less than a day after New York Judge Lewis Kaplan, 77, ruled Andrew must face a civil trial on allegations he sexually abused Virginia Jufri when she was 17. Andrew denies the accusations made against him. The Duke of Cambridge is reported to have met with the monarch in her private quarters at Windsor Castle for more than an hour. Sources said it was during this meeting in which it was decided the axe should swiftly fall on Andrew's royal career. Another source told the Mirror, the Queen realized Andrew's position was grave indeed following a conversation with William and his father Prince Charles, 73. A separate royal insider said, the Prince of Wales and Duke of Cambridge are completely aligned in their view that the Duke of York has presided over a complete and utter disaster. Andrew, who was summoned by his mother on Thursday, was said to have been both pensive and shell-shocked. In a statement, Buckingham Palace said, with the Queen's approval and agreement, the Duke of York's military affiliations and royal patronages have been returned to the Queen. The Duke of York will continue not to undertake any public duties and is defending this case as a private citizen. A royal source confirmed the decision means the title of His Royal Highness will be dropped and Andrew Rolls will be redistributed to other members of the firm. This includes a dozen military affiliations, including his role as Colonel of the Grenadier Guards. Anti-monarchist campaign group Republic also attempted to put pressure on the Queen after they published a letter with signatures from over 150 military veterans. The letter, addressed to the Queen, read, We understand that he is your son, but we write to you in your capacity as Head of State and as Commander-in-Chief of the Army, Navy, and Air Force. These steps could have been taken at any time in the past 11 years. Please do not leave it any longer.